Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a Minecraft server in 2021. This is going to work for versions 1.8, it's going to work for versions 1.17, it's going to work for any other versions in 2021. We're going to be going over every single step of downloading, installing, the files you need, all of it is going to be covered in this video. And by the end of it you'll know exactly how to play Minecraft with your friends and how to create your own server all again in 2021. Now, making a Minecraft server is pretty difficult in comparison to other games, and that's why there are people like Apex Minecraft Hosting, who is the amazing sponsor of this video. You can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, where you can get your server set up in just a few minutes. We're actually setting up a server on your screen right now. We love and trust Apex so much that we host our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them, and at Apex, you don't have to worry about port forwarding, you don't have to worry about having good hardware, and you need decent hardware to run a Minecraft server, and you don't even have to worry about security on your server server. Apex takes care of all of it. Again, they are absolutely incredible. You can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to prevent all the hard stuff making a server and get it as quickly and easily as possible. It's truly the best way to make a server, but if you don't want to purchase a server with Apex, again, first link down below, then let's go ahead and show you how to start your very own server on your own computer. First things first here, we want to go to this website. This is in the description down below, the second link down below, and this is actually our website, and the reason we're sending you here is because if in the future, right? Right now, this video is made for 2021, but if you're watching this in 2022, 2023, this article, second link down below, will always be up to date. As you can see, the most recent version right now is 1.17. 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.25 comes out. This will still be updated. We update it with every single version. So if something does change and you find this video in the future, well, then guess what? The video up here is always up to date, as is this article. Nevertheless, though, once you're here, you want to scroll down and click on this green download Minecraft button. That's going to take you off to the official server download page where you want to click on the minecraft underscore server 1.17.1 jar there it might be a different version that's okay you just want to click on minecraft underscore server right there and then in the bottom left the server.jar is going to download in google chrome we will need to keep it in the bottom left on google chrome or save it in the same screen on mozilla firefox it's 100 safe to do that because i mean this is from minecraft.net if you have minecraft you've downloaded something from this website before now we can go ahead and minimize our browser and on my desktop right here i have the server.jar if this isn't on your desktop it's going to be in your downloads folder so go to your downloads folder grab that and drag it to your desktop once the server.jar is on your desktop we want to go ahead and right click on your desktop create a new folder you can name this folder whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com because that's our own incredible Minecraft server. Then once you've got your folder here, we want to drag and drop the server.jar into the folder you created. Now I want to go ahead and open up the folder we created, right like so. And then we want to go ahead and right click in here, right, and create a new text document. So again, that's right click in this folder, create a new text document. And then we want to name this run. So run.txt, right like so. Then you want to go ahead and open up your run.txt file here. And we want to go ahead and go to the description down below and get this code. And basically what this is, is going to be the thing that runs your server. So it's a Java server, right? Obviously server is a jar file. That's a Java file. And then this is how much RAM right here. XMX and XMX is RAM. So if you wanted to add three gigs of RAM, you would up this. This isn't exactly three gigs of RAM, but if you make that three, it's about three gigs of RAM. We're going to start off with two gigs of RAM and that is what's in the description. But if you want to add more RAM, that's where you can do it. And then obviously it's a jar file. And then this right here is very, very important where it says server.jar. This needs to be the same as whatever the jar file is back here. So for me, it's server.jar. For you, it may just say server. And if that's the case, you need to turn on file name extensions. To that go to view up here at the top and then just click on file name extensions as you can see the server goes away and then you want to turn that on if uh you know it's not on already right like so now most of the time that's going to work if it doesn't for whatever reason you may have to go to options and then you may have to go to view and then scroll down until you see file name extensions so as you can see hide extensions for known file types if that is checked for example if we hit apply that's going to go away and then hide extensions for known file types that wants to be unchecked, right? Hide extensions for known file types needs to be unchecked, or we need to make sure that file name extensions is it checked there to where you can see these dot jars. But server.jar needs to be right here if this is called server.jar. If it was called something else, it would be called something else there. No GUI basically means the Minecraft server GUI is not going to open up. It's going to be using the console. And then the pause means if you do have any issues, it's going to stop the server and pause it. So now we want to go ahead and file save whenever we've got this copied in here. It should be exactly like this from Java to pause, right like so. And then we want to go ahead and close out of the run.txt file. 
and then we want to right click on the run.txt file here right click rename and then we want to delete the .txt and change it to .bat and that's why the file name extensions is so important so if you hadn't done that already you need to go do that file name extensions and again that was just click right here view and then click right here or go into options and make sure that hide extensions for known file types is unchecked right both of those will do it but again we want to right click on the run.txt and change txt to bat so this needs to be run.bat exactly like that click off of it it's going to give you a warning it might become unusable all that stuff it's not let's go ahead and click yes boom and that's going to be now a run.bat and most importantly the file type should be windows batch file over here now we can go ahead and run this server by double clicking on the run.bat file so once we've done that we can go ahead and start the server right it's, it's starting we double click on the run.bat that's going to start your server except it's going to fail why is it going to fail because you are basically not agreeing to the minecraft ula yet right it's generated some files here but we need to agree to this ula now for some of you it still may not have worked you still may have gotten an issue when trying to start your server could have been an array of different things but the good thing is 99 percent of those issues are fixed with this and this is how to download and install java for minecraft servers this was recently changed for 1.17 so if you're making a 1.17 server you will definitely need to come here and download this version of java go through this simple process here you may need to run the jar fix as well but that's more unlikely this is also linked in the description but the thing you will have to do no matter what is this right here which is download and install java for minecraft servers now we can go ahead and once you've double clicked on that run.bat file again once you double click on it it's going to go through it's going to fail and then you want to press any key to continue and then we'll need to agree to the minecraft eula see it failed press any key to continue we can open up the eula.txt file here we then want to change eula equals false to eula equals true true exactly like that that is again assuming you agree to this minecraft ula which we do so eula equals true then go ahead and do file save close out of the ula.txt file and then finally when we double click on the run.bat file the server is going to start right on up at this point i'm going to go ahead and let the server start up i'll kind of do that live here but then after that i'm going to do a quick jump cut to get minecraft open so we can join this server so here we are as you can see it says done there that's signaling the server is open would you see done the server is done starting obviously it's pretty simple and now we can go ahead and join the server so here we are in minecraft obviously we're on the multiplayer tab here and then we want to join our server now you're going to join your server different from how your friends are going to join your server we're going to talk about that here in a second however for you what we want to do is go ahead and click direct connection and then in here what we want to do is enter in one of two things one is local host right local host and click join server that's going to allow you to join right on into your server as you can see on the other side over here we have next games it's joined the server we are good to go However, for some of you, that's not going to be the best way, right? The best way for some of you is going to be this, direct connection. And then we're going to, instead of localhost, hit zero, right? When you type in zero, join the server. It's going to act exactly the same way and join right on in. Now, you can also join off of your IPv4 address. But I'm not going to go too much in depth with that because that's more needed if you're going to port forward, right? You're going to need your IPv4 and all of that stuff if you're going to port forward. And you do need to port forward in order to get your friends to join the server. So how do you do that? Well, we're not going to go in depth in this video. But luckily, in the description down below we have a complete guide on how to port forward for minecraft servers this has helped nearly half a million people 400,000 people and it's got over 5,500 likes that's because it works it helps people it helps get basically your server online and allow your friends to join it it goes in depth with everything it even talks about how to port forward in a few different routers it is a great great resource and it is linked again in the description down below also in the description down below we have a lot of other really cool resources that are worth checking out so if you want plugins on your server you want mods on your server you want any of that stuff it is down below we even have a video on how to fix broken minecraft servers should you run into an issue in the future with your server that video can really help you out anyway thank you so so much for watching if you do want to play on an amazing minecraft survival server let no further than BreakdownCraft. PlaydotBreakdownCraft.com is the IP. We have over 100 players online during peak hours every single day, and you should come play with us if you want an amazing survival server. And guess what? If you have issues starting your server, come play on BreakdownCraft. You don't want to go with Apex. You don't want to buy a server that way. Well, then just come play on BreakdownCraft. We're set up for friends. It's going to be pretty awesome if you want to play on BreakdownCraft. But nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I'm out. Peace.